Hey, y'all. So it's been quite a week in many ways. On Monday, the day after Father's Day, ironically, I found out that the man who I'd been led to believe my whole life was my father is not. To say that I'm bewildered is an understatement. You know, my mother found out when she was 37 or 38 years old that she was adopted. She'd never known until her half-brother showed up at her doorstep. So that's when I learned that that family wasn't really my family. And now I've learned the other side of my family is not my family. So basically I have no family except for two half brothers and my two living children. And the only family I've ever been around that's truly related to me other than those people in my whole entire life is, was my mother. There's some relief in it, actually, because I was always treated and made to feel like I shouldn't have been and that something was wrong with me, that I was wrong. Inherently, I was wrong. And it was because of what they did. My mother was only 16 and 12 days old when she gave birth to me. My father turned 17, or the man who purported to be my father all these years, turned 17 three months after I was born. They should have never had me. They should have never been allowed to have me. Shame on their parents. They all subjected me to a horrible, horrible childhood. Fraught with Midnight moves and taking care of sick parents and acting as an adult when I was a child. I never had a childhood. In fact, I've had a counselor say that I was a feral child, and that is the truth. My parents were emotionally absent my entire life. They did not show up for me. I raised myself. Oh, yeah, there might have been a roof over my head most of the time. Food, sometimes, sometimes not, because the alcohol was more important, or the cigarettes. I'm so hurt and confused and angry. So anyway, that's what I've been kind of trying to wrap my head around all week. Is that my existence has been based on lies for 60 years. And I was punished for those lies. I got rejected. My parents both abandoned me more than once, leaving me at my grandparents' Or sending me back and forth to each other because they couldn't figure their shit out. And they always made it out that it was my fault. That I was the bad seed. So finding this out and then hearing about Road versus Wade being overturned. 
I'm furious. Because no child should be forced to have the upbringing and the life that I did just because people are against abortion. That's fucked up. That's so messed up. Everyone should have a right to decide and no one should be forced into or shamed to live with something that is a natural occurrence. Sex and fucking are natural body functions. And just because the risk of a pregnancy is there should not make every woman have to risk her whole life, let alone that of the child being born when they aren't wanted because it feels bad. Let me tell you, living a whole life like I have, I've been unwanted, unwanted, unwanted. And I had to live with that. That hasn't been nice. It's not been good. Those that have known me my whole life, they know the hardships I've gone through, or at least some of them. So anyway, I don't really know who I am, except I'm still Debbie. I'm me. I, I still am the person who cares for the underdog. The person that's mouthy and will say what she says and she doesn't give a fuck what y'all think because I did that my whole life. I bit my tongue, but I don't bite my tongue anymore. I throw my fucks out there all I want to. <clears throat> anyway, I have a name. And I have a picture of who might be my father, and it looks quite compelling. And I have made some efforts at reaching out to contact this person, but I've not heard anything back. Anyway. So the secret's out. I am not related to the Mayberry clan or the Robertson clan. Dwayne Mayberry is not my biological father. And they all lied to me for 60 years. You know, when Brendan died, I said I didn't want to be a Mayberry anymore, and I got my wish. Now I just need to change my name. And I'm going to do some real soul searching to figure out what I want to have be my name the rest of my life. Because I want it to reflect who I am, not what other people are. Anyway. That's my truth. My life is never simple or boring. And I wished it was sometimes. And I'll get through this just like I get through everything else. But trust me, it takes a toll. I'm so tired. It's my state of being all the time is I'm just tired. Because there's just been so much to deal with. <sighs> anyway. Maybe things can even out. I don't know. I hope so. I will still remain hopeful. For my own self. <sighs> and I've taken care of myself this far. So I guess I'll just keep taking care of myself like I always have. Even since I was a little tiny kid. Taking care of myself and my brother back then. Anyway, I thank everybody for their support and their kindness and their patience and for their trying to understand 
and what they can't understand, just accepting that I am who I am. Because I didn't get that from my family. So I'm really appreciative of the people that are my tribe. <laughs> I don't need a family. I need a tribe. So I'm really grateful for my children and for the kind people in my life that have helped me along the way. Anyway, that's it. Peace.